I have the camera zoomed in so that you can see this rivet up here I'm going to try to remove. Good morning, I'm in Denver, Colorado. This morning I'm trying to shoot all of the video with the Canon G7X again. Finally got those little furry things installed on it. And uh, yesterday I shot all the video with the GoPro, the little GoPro, and I lost half of the day's video. Um, the last couple of days I've been having problems. Every time I try to do a time lapse, it sort of wigs out, it goes funky, strange, and then I get errors on importing uh, the video files. So I've lost video over the past couple of days for part of the day. Sometimes I have enough to do a vlog, sometimes not. Yesterday I wasn't able to do it. So I have a little bit of video from yesterday, hopefully where I'm installing the little furry things and I'm shooting the rest of the day with the Canon camera. Hopefully that will go well and hopefully there will be no wind noise. And I'm sort of hoping that I get a little bit of a breeze to see how it does with a breeze or a slight wind. Uh, today I'm headed to a coffee shop to do some work. I'm looking for a storage unit. Just finished my workout at Planet Fitness here. Gonna find a Starbucks or a coffee shop and head out and do some work for the morning. Just finished up working at Starbucks doing some online work. Finally figured out how to reset the GoPro, so that's pretty awesome. Did a reset for the entire camera and also wiped the memory card. So I'm gonna do some experiments over the next couple of days and make sure that things are still working okay with it. Um, in the meantime, I'm also playing with the power shot with the new fuzzy things over the microphones. Hopefully that helps a little bit. There's still no breeze, so not really a great chance to check it out yet. Someone asked the other day whether the ceiling up here is hot or not during the day. It's probably 73 degrees outside right now, and the ceiling here is hot. It feels warm to my touch, and it's probably, it's hotter than the side panels, the ceiling is. I think it's almost the same temperature as the actual roof. So it's not doing very good with the insulation. So I'm feeling pretty strongly that this needs to go because it's probably 10 degrees warmer inside the step van right now than it is outside. It's comfortable outside. Doesn't seem to be doing any insulating up there at all. So to me, it makes sense, even though it's gonna be a lot of work to pull these rivets out, to pull all the rivets out, pull out the ceiling and redo it with some sort of foam up there. One of you commented after one of my videos, I think it was on the control knobs, that the, that the gauge for the oil pressure is always 40 pounds, whether the ignition is off or on. And I realized that this thing is broken. It's not working at all. Okay, watch this. No change, nothing. So I think that's uh, broken, something's not working there. Um, in my experience with computer consulting, there's usually three ways to fix a problem like this. One, either the gauge is not working, the gauge itself is broken, or the wiring somewhere between the gauge and the sensor is not working, or third, the sensor itself at the point where it connects to the engine is not working. So I'm guessing one of those three is not working correctly. And usually, at least my experience with working with computers, it's going to be the cable, the wire. That's usually the weak point. But anyway, um, I'm going to do some research on this and look at my owner's manual and look at the service manual and see what it says about troubleshooting this. And if I can figure out maybe since it's sitting at 40, maybe that means something. I don't know. I've rented a storage unit over here and uh, I'm gonna start moving in tomorrow just because I think it's gonna rain here in the next 30 minutes or so. And so I want to move in in the morning when it's a little bit cooler and there's no rain 
and I can do that when I have all my energy. I'm feeling a little bit tired right now, but I got a pretty good deal. It's $36, but it's a small unit. It's only five by five, but I think it'll be big enough to get everything in there, at least 99% of it. I'm gonna need to keep my tools in order to uh, do the insulation and floor ceiling, stuff like that. Once I move in here, then I can look at the floor and basically what I'm going to do is look at it and figure out how difficult it's going to be to remove it, see if the adhesive really worked or didn't work, um, and what all's involved in there with that, and also look at the ceiling rivets again. And I think now I'm going to head this afternoon or early evening over to either Lowe's or Home Depot, someplace like that, and look for a tool like a little pry bar to pull out those rivets. Um, a lot of you made comments about that and gave me some links on that special little tool that can be used in combination with a screwdriver or with a drill bit to remove the ceiling rivets. So that's the next project for today. I'm at Lowe's right now. I'm not going to take the camera inside because I don't want the re a repeat of what happened at Home Depot. Got a little bit of a breeze, so I'm curious to find out if the new little hairy muff thing that I put on top of the microphones is working or if you hear the wind noise. So I'll get to find out tomorrow when I edit this video. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside. I have the camera zoomed in so that you can see this rivet up here I'm gonna try to remove. And I purchased this tool, It's uh, I think it's Cat's Claw. Uh, Meryl had one of these when we were trying to remove the rivets um, the aluminum rivets out of the sides of the shelves and so I purchased basically the same thing a little bit smaller but this has a flat head on it and I think this will work well for removing these plastic rivets up here so I'm going to try to remove this rivet right here and see if it comes out I'm picking this one because it looks like it's right on the edge and it looks like it's sticking out just slightly and I think I can get under it a little bit easier so Yep, there it goes under. And the rivet popped off, but there's a nail underneath here. And there we go. That's coming out pretty easy. And then it looks like there's a little plastic sleeve that goes with it that did not come out. And I don't know if that's important, but I imagine that might be the expanding part but I pulled one rivet off. That was, that came off pretty easy. Um, I have to try another and see how that works. I managed to pull out one of the other uh, rivets and underneath was this plastic sleeve which was an expandable part. So I think that this probably needs to come out for each one. But I was able to get it with the edge of this little claw thing. So this is a pretty good tool. It came out probably Oh, 10, 15 seconds worth of work, so it was pretty quick. I don't think I need to drill them out and if I can just use this tool. So I just go at it with the wide flat edge first and then come back with the claw to pull out the nail and pull out this little plastic plug. Pretty cool. I think that's all I have for this episode. I'm successful getting a couple of rivets out, so I think I have a course of action to move forward on this. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.